All right, here we go with uh, the next installment of our how we're supposed to approach the framework thing. Uh, I'm going to combine 2.5 and 2.6 here because to be honest with you, when it comes to topic 2.5, I do need some ad to add some stuff before we actually get to the exam. Uh, so I'm going to do that in class or, either, or, or online if we're, we're not in school. So when it comes to topic 2.5, I've said this 10 times at this point, but you had a bunch of... Uh, conflicts between natives and Europeans on your summer assignment. So you probably need to look at that when you're studying this section. Uh, I put some examples up here to focus on. You have the Pequot War, Metacom's War, and the Pueblo Revolt. Uh, as you look at those, you need to kind of compare the causes for each of those. They're going to be a little bit similar, but also a little different. I know I tell y'all not to say that, but it is what it is. And then take a look at the uh, effects of each one as well. And you should be okay as far as that goes. Um, so the focus of this one is going to be on 2.6 as we see the origins of Atlantic slavery in the British colonies. So we've really got three things we've got to, <coughs> excuse me, three things we've got to focus on with this. <clears throat> we have to deal with the causes and effects or causes, effects, and the reactions of uh, slaves to the institution as they were held in bondage. So when it comes to the causes of it, you can see it under A. Um, all the British colonies participated to varying degrees. So do recognize that there was slavery in every colonial region, but the environmental factors and the economic factors determined how, uh, m how much of a presence slavery had in that different region. Uh, if you look, the causes for slavery are right there. Abundance of land, growing European demand for colonial goods and a shortage of indentured. And I'm going to apologize consistently for the formatting of this, but, you know, uploading them and uploading them and whatnot. It should be a shortage of indentured servants. So with the abundance of land, kind of already got that. Uh, the growing European demand for colonial goods. I have two of the goods listed there, tobacco and sugar. These are the two goods that really drive uh, Atlantic slavery in the colonies. And then the shortage of indentured servants uh, is going to, well, it's partly going to be because just of the way that the institution works, but also Bacon's Rebellion plays a role in that as well. So we go to kind of uh, the next component of it would be as it becomes a dominant system, new laws are created. This is an effect of slavery in the British colonies. You start to see a tightening up of um, or putting restrictions on slaves as a uh, forcibly work and live in the colonies. Uh, I want you to focus on the Virginia laws. As an example for this, you're dealing with things like um, slave status being dependent on who their mother was, uh, making uh, the murdering of a slave by their owner is not going to be punishable by law under this. And then you get into different things like not allowing them uh, to own guns or be freed by religious conversion. In other words, you need to categorize it. You need to just address it as a tightening up. Uh, or more restrictions. And then learning objective two, we're going to be dealing with how enslaved people responded to slavery. We have two different categories for this that you can see for the left. You have overt and covert. Overt means outright, for our purposes, rebellion by slaves. So the Stono Rebellion is our example for this. Uh, and then you go into the covert methods. We talked about this in class way, way, way back. It's things like breaking tools, faking like you're sick, uh, different things such as that. So as we're looking at the origins and hopefully once again, we get together and we kind of trace the path as we go through the first half of this course, when we put it all together, this is going to be our origin point. We've got some causes, we have some effects or restrictions, and we also have some responses and those are going to change a little bit as we go. So that's uh, 2.5 and 2.6. We'll move on to 2.7 in the next one.